Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut in this video. What I'm going to be doing, this is going to be a pretty quick one to start out our uh, Monday. And this is going to be going over an ASCII converter. If you're wondering what that is, it converts plain images into the uh, text format, so to speak. Uh, a popular example of this, especially in our community, is in NeoFetch. These images right here of the uh, distribution logos are ASCII images. And there's actually a tool that you can use to go ahead and convert just about any image into the ASCII format. So then you could go ahead and copy and paste. It's a pretty cool little tool. And I posted this to Twitter right here. This is a picture of my face in that format. And I got a couple people asking me how and what uh, application I used to do that. And I used something called J JP2A or JPEG2 ASCII. And it's really easy to use. If I just do a JP2A and then I do like dash H, it will bring up the help screen of everything that you could go ahead and do with this little utility. Uh, if I go back over here, this is their GitHub page. It hasn't been updated in forever, but it is a pretty simple application that does one thing and it doesn't really need to be updated that much as the last thing to be updated was the readme file four years ago. It still works completely fine and I'm going to show you a couple quick examples of me using it. Now to use it you just do jp2a and then whatever or the image that you want to go ahead and uh, convert into this. So first I'm actually going to need to cd into my desktop here because I have two images. I have uh, this one right here that is just a little uh, emoticon of me giving a thumbs up that uh, somebody made. And then we have the Odyssey logo, which this looks really cool in this format. So first we're gonna do myself, which is the uh, good job PNG. So we're just gonna do JP2A and then type in the file name if you're in the correct directory, dot PNG, hit enter. And there it is, it's as simple as that. And you could go ahead and get this text, for example, give it a copy. And if we open up something like Kate, which is the KDE text editor, paste that in there, you can see it keeps its format. And then like over here in this little preview window, you can see it like it, it looks pretty good. I mean, it, this application does a really good job doing this. Uh, you could also add tags such as colors. So if I go ahead and do that again, dash dash, uh, I think it's colors like this, it will go ahead and actually bring in the colors. And you can see if I highlight it, kind of how it does that. It's just incredibly pixelated because of what it's doing, but it looks really good. You can't really see it because of my black terminal background, but a really good example is this Odyssey PNG. So if I go ahead and switch this over to the Odyssey logo, so Odyssey, enter. Look how good that looks. I mean, this is absolutely beautiful. So that is really about it. I went ahead and uh, used uh, Yay to go ahead and install this on Arch. It's probably just in the Debian repository, so it's probably pretty easy to get. Uh, the reason I went ahead and looked at this is if you go over to the It's Foss website, which is a wonderful uh, blog for Linux applications and stuff like that, uh, I found out about a program this one right here, this uh, ASCII converter is another one that basically does the same thing, but for the life of me, I couldn't get it to work for some reason. Um, it's the ASCII image converter. So you could go ahead and try this one out too. It might work on your system. Didn't work for mine. Uh, this is the guy that wrote the article. Very good page. I'll go ahead and link to this down below if you're interested in checking this out. Um, but yeah, that's really about it. Uh, don't forget, follow me on Twitter because I've been using it quite a bit lately. Uh, I post a lot of things, previews to videos that I'm going to end up putting out, uh, stuff like that. And stay tuned because this is a uh, new microphone, as you can tell. It was sent to me for review. So if you think this audio sounded good and you're interested in a really cheap, good mic kit without the wire, the wire looks kind of silly like that, uh, subscribe and or I'll link it. It'll be on the eye by the time I upload it. But yeah, you all have a beautiful day. And goodbye.